Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. It's Thursday morning. I'm a day later than usual this week, but it's one of those summers and my schedule is, woo, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But Thursday morning, so welcome to Coffee and a Splash of Inspiration. If you are here and joining me, do say hello. And if you hear that dinging in the background, it's because people are connecting to Zoom because we had Lori and we lost Lori and now she's coming back on Zoom. So if you have the Zoom link, you are welcome to join that link. And if not, um, hopefully, hopefully I'm live on Facebook. I'm trying to find me. Oh, there I, I look like I am. Okay. So say hello if you are here on Facebook so we know that you're here. And uh just a few things to chit chat about. First of all, if you haven't had your morning coffee yet, cheers, morning coffee. <laughs> I, I had just a really quick one and then, yay, everybody's got their coffee. <laughs> we uh, we went for an early walk today. So I, uh, I said, oh, well, that's good. That means I'll still have coffee left for when I do coffee and a chat and splash of inspiration and all that. Yes, coffee. Good morning, stop. So, um, couple of things to fill you in on. We had our paper pumpkin and kits party last night and uh, I don't know how well you can see it but this was in the box. Uh, this is the flyer for the paper pumpkin next month. So next month um, the kit is going to be all about sunflowers. So I don't honestly know a whole lot about it. I think um, you know it's cards. We're gonna make some cards but uh, I haven't seen any really, really good sneak peeks other than it's going to be sunflowers. So we'll keep you posted. But if you are not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, um, it's a it's a fun kit and we have a fun evening crafting together. We just kind of hang out and craft and do our own thing and chit chat and visit and all that sort of stuff. So it's all good. Uh, that is number one. Second thing, just an early heads up that uh, next week's going to be uh, it's going to be a different week as far as my crafting goes. I will do coffee and a card. Uh, the plan is to do it back again Wednesday morning as usual, 9.30. So watch for that. Uh, that's probably the last crafting I'm doing next week. Might be the only crafting I'm doing next week. Because next week is wedding week. <laughs> so I think uh, I think most of you have heard. But for anyone that hasn't heard, my daughter is finally getting married next week. Uh, they tried in 2020, they tried in 2021, and now they are actually getting married in 2022. So that's a week from this coming Saturday. So there's the rehearsal and there's setup and there's, you know, there's lots of stuff going on next week. So I don't, uh, I <laughs> crafting will take a back burner <laughs> and uh, that's just how it goes in the wedding world. So just wanted to give you an early heads up on that. Um, my August card class, I'm working on it. I hope to get the information out about it today or tomorrow. Um, I have a couple of the cards designed. Oh, I moved them over. We'll give you the, the real quick sneak peek. And so, the, and this is, this might, oops, yeah. Oh, there, there you can see it. So there's a couple of the cards that we will be making. We are using the Splendid Thoughts. I'm just going to say Splendid Day. I think the paper's called Splendid Day. Anyway, Splendid Thoughts bundle, which is in the July to December mini catalog. And the uh, specialty designer series paper that goes with that suite is so lovely. It's foils. So if you're not into shiny, maybe not your thing. But if you like a little shine, it's really pretty. Different. And some are almost subtle. So interesting paper in that package. but definitely shine and all that and so I thought that I would feature the stamp set today for my stamp I'm not using the uh the specialty designer series paper but I will use the stamp set so I will show you that you will see it and uh and we'll go from there uh, what else I think that's kind of it there's not 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 as much on the uh the crafting horizon um the only other thing not quite on the horizon, a little bit further out there, the November retreat, November 18th to 20th in Stainer. It's going to be an awesome weekend. I am now 
uh, in discussions, shall we say, with uh, a woman who is a certified or qualified, certified, I guess certified, uh, yoga instructor. And she may come and uh, do yoga, certainly on the Friday and the Saturday, probably not the Sunday because people want to finish whatever they're working on and then we have lunch and then we have to leave, sadly. But uh, she'll probably do a couple of yoga sessions um, while we're there. So I'll keep you posted on that. But it will be an awesome weekend, uh, crafting and, and other stuff. Because now I have a couple of people that say, well, I don't craft. And I said, we'll come anyway. And they're actually talking about coming anyway. So <laughs> we will see. <laughs> All righty, shall we get to some crafting? Let me just change this. There we go. Oh, and that's a little bit a little bit of glare. So there is, oh, there is very crooked cheap, and I never know how to turn. Okay, that's better. So uh, this is the splendid thoughts stamp set. So as you can see, it's got some, I guess these are look like eucalyptus to me. This is some, I don't know, big leafy ferny stuff. Um, these do not match. You will see as we stamp today that they do not match, but they add interesting bits of color. Uh, and then a bumblebee and then uh, four sentiments in here. So that is the stamp set and I'm going to use it today just to share that with you a little bit. These are not cards that will be in the August card class. So these are just some additional ideas for you. But this is the card, oh, there we go, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Focus. Uh, this is the card that I was going to share today. So this paper is actually called uh, Rings of Love, and it is one of the celebration papers. So it has lots of, it covers um, a number of um, occasions, kind of, uh, I guess, so we've got, uh, sort of the, I don't know, right, is that the summer flowers? And we've got the fall, um, you know, the nuts and the colored leaves. We've got birds in springtime. Not quite sure what season this fits into, but there's a house, and a bunch of houses that are really cute. And then we have perhaps some more fall uh, greenery and forestry stuff. And then we have uh, some Christmas poinsettias. So all different, uh, I, some of it, it's, well, it's the rings of the tree and, you know, all the layers of whatever. And I have no idea, but it's pretty paper. <laughs> so, so here are your, your wood rings. Uh, there's a sheet of those that you can cut out if you wish. And there's some trees. There's this awesome uh, checker pattern. I always love checkers. And then we have uh, this, uh, this is really pretty. It's uh, petal pink and mango me melody looks like with some uh, parakeet party and stuff. This is what I'm going to use for the card I'm about to start. And then some blues for your, your winter or your ice if you wish. This almost looks snowflake-like. Could be snowflake, could be anything you want. <laughs> and then just a geometric pattern. So. Lots of pretty papers in that package. So there are the birds. And then this center section is the stuff from the Splendid Thoughts. So I have just used a white card base, uh, which is what I tend to do when I am completely covering the card front. I mean, I use white card bases other times as well, but when I'm completely covering it, I often just use white and then it's uh, nice and Nice and white and light bright for inside. So there's my card base. Then we have two strips of paper that are one inch by five and a half. And I am just going to adhere these right to the edges of the card base. This is the, the one that has the colored leaves and acorns on the back, but we're using the, the summery one. I want to make sure I have this where I want it. Yes, that looks looks like the way it should. We'll get that across and put the other one on. Again, using 
liquid glue just so I have a little bit of wiggle room. Oh, I have a card base that doesn't look like it's folded overly evenly. Let's fix that in a moment. Oops. When you flip it over, you can see if you need to just give it a little push to even out the head. Just the smallest smidge at the top that I will trim off, but that's easy enough to do. So I'll give that a good press. And then while it's open and I can see what I'm doing, just trim that little itty bitty piece off and it will be even. Oh, apparently I have sticky fingers. And let's go back and take a peek at this because this did not look like it was folded quite right. There we go. That's better. Okay. And then I have a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by two and a half. So it is going to go right over top in the center. It overlaps these just a little bit. Okay. And I did put this one down flat, but I may pop the next one up. We'll see. Just for interest. <laughs> and then I have already prepared a few bits and pieces. So for this one, I did cut, and I don't know what I'm going to use yet. You know, we'll just bake it till we make it. But we have some, some bits of greenery. This is the one stamp. Uh, lost the stamp set. <laughs> Where did I put it? Oh, there we go, right there. So this is this outline with these dots. Uh, and you can see, unless I really messed up, <laughs> but no, it does not, uh, the dots don't fill in the stamp. So it's the, uh, to have a bit of a watercolor kind of look to it where there's just sort of some uh, color splashed onto it. And then for this one, I use Petal Pink to cut. This is one of the dies in the bundle and it can just be, you know, a, a half, actually it's not quite a circle. It's not half a circle because uh, that's not quite perfectly round, but it would, you could put these together. You can, you know, according to build shape them. Hey, you could make a, like a baby carriage if you needed a baby card. <laughs> um, or you can make a pot. Yeah. You can do it this way, whatever you like. But anyway, this one I uh, embossed with the splatters embossing holder just to give it a little texture because it was navy. I wasn't going to do anything else with it. But this one I was thinking I might actually make my card a little taller. And so I was going to stamp my sentiment onto onto this bottom piece. So I have Parakeet Party ink, which I think will show up fine on the, uh, this is Petal Pink cardstock. I just need to get, <laughs> get up here a little bit to attempt to, to get this straight. You'll notice I had two. That's, uh, that's in case I mess up. Oh, hello, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's on Facebook joining us. Welcome. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not really straight. <laughs> we'll try that again. And I'll just use this second one. Let's see if I can. Whoops. Not sure. I might be, might be flipping over. Oh, no, that one's okay. There we go. Okay, second time lucky. So there we go. And so now what I was thinking again was that I would add some, and this one got mostly covered up, but I did stamp in the background on that one. I think I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of lay this all out and see what I think. I was thinking I would make it higher. So I could put these things here. Not sure whether I like these both of these or not. This guy covering the beginnings of the stem, but I might. So I have paper has two sides. That you are so right, Sarah. So paper, paper. We always use. Well, we don't always use two-sided paper, right? Sometimes uh, 
depending on what we've done with it, it doesn't actually have a second side. But this paper did, but I didn't need it. Just a second try and I had cut two just to just to be prepared. So we're all good. Anyway, what I was thinking was that I would put some of these dots onto the back of the card to um, just to, you know, add a little color back there and stuff. However, I don't think I want to do it full strength. So I am going to stamp off, whoops, I have ink everywhere. <laughs> stamp off, this is my parakeet party because it's still fairly new, is a very juicy ink pad. And I'm just going to put some of these up here. And do that once more. And you'll notice that these leaves um, are also naturally shaded, which is another awesome bit to this stamp set so they have some white areas and lighter areas towards the bottom and then uh, more intense color up the leaf so now i'm going to close this so i do not end up in it and i think i'm going to sort of just layer that up high and this can go like that, which will hide the stem. Um, <laughs> stem doesn't have to go all the way down to the bottom, but you kind of don't want it floating in midair. So I think that might work. There's not a whole lot to that, but that. Uh, <laughs> and as I was thinking about what I would do today, you'll notice I did. I wrapped this around and I tied it in a bow. And after I finished that, I decided that I was not going to put a bow onto this one because I did not want to try a bow on camera. If I'd put it lower, I could have. But uh, anyway, I did not put it lower, so I'm not tying a bow on this. <laughs> we'll use some gems. So I'm just, I don't want this uh, completely stuck down. I did not put adhesive sheets on this because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. So I'm just dabbing it with a little bit of the liquid glue and it will be enough to hold it in place. You don't need it uh, fully glued everywhere. So just give that a little, a little push. Did I miss the top of that? No. And then these guys, I just want to make sure that some of it covers over the bottom of that stem, which will be easy enough to do. So the paper pumpkin kit from July was, uh, it was like message in a bottle or something. Anyway, it was bottles and, you know, the, the note rolled up and message in the bottle and there's a beautiful ship stamp that came in the kit. So, we had good fun making those last night. Alrighty, I need, oh, I, I also brought out like the little bumblebee stamp. I didn't know that I wanted a little bumblebee, but he should really be over here, unless he's flying on his head, which would be a little bit ridiculous. So perhaps we won't use him, because so, I kind of forgot I had a few there. I wasn't sure uh, whether you'd be around this morning, Sarah, because I know I know it's not this morning for you in Australia. It's tonight, and uh, I, I can't. I don't know exactly what time you do your live, so I wasn't sure whether you would be here or not. But I'm glad you popped in. <laughs> there we go. So it's probably not quite as busy, but the paper is not quite as busy. So the whole card is going to have just a little different look, which is part of what I always like to share. You know, you can have two cards that are very similar, you know, same same type of paper, di different papers, uh, different colors, and all of a sudden it looks like quite a different card. Which I think is really awesome. I wasn't watching this. Is there anything in the chat over here? I should take a peek. Nothing in the chat. Okay. No questions or anything that I have not addressed. <laughs> so 
supposed to be another hot day today, so I might, uh, might have to get all my work done early so I can get out on the water this afternoon. We'll see. Now, the last piece of this was too, yes, when I did this one, it was too long. I don't know what I was looking at when I cut my five and a half, but I didn't, uh, apparently I didn't let them cut too well. They're, they're a very generous five and a half, but that's okay. I'll just trim it <laughs> in a moment. And get this on straight. There we go. And then, yes, I have I have some overflow or overhang, but paper snips to the rescue. And there we go. Oh no, there we don't quite go. We need some gems. <laughs> we need something fun, some bling. What do we want? What do we have? I was kind of thinking of these because I have these little flowers in Parakeet Party and they may just brighten it up. That was sort of, is this Calypso Coral? That might be a little bit too orange. Let me see what else I have that might, might work. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking those flowers will be. I had them in my brain, so guess what? <laughs> I think that's what it's going to be. We'll just add. Because these are fun. These little guys. Apparently, I've been using the Turkey Party. I haven't used any of the Starry Sky or the Calypso Coral. I have to, have to remember that I have these in those colors. See? There we go. Maybe that'll be the next, the next color challenge or something. <laughs> Starry. Starry Sky. Okay, here we go. Starry Sky and Calypso Coral. And then we need one more. So we have this green and this orange. What would we put with that? Like that. Need another color with that. Any suggestions? Oh, I need to change the day. Friday night or Sunday night. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, <laughs> I tried to find good days to uh, to do some of my stuff and it's tough you it is better to get a consistent day because then people know when to find you and so I was trying this summer I've not done very well over the summer it's been a bit of a a different summer for me but I did warn people at the beginning of the summer I think <laughs> so thank you thank you to everyone that's here for finding me on all my different days <laughs> so all right I will just bring me back there we go oh Time for some more coffee. Everybody probably finished their coffee. You guys got to just watch while I had to work. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyway, two quick cards. Um, this uh, Rings of Love design series paper is a celebration item. It is still available. All the celebration items um, are only available while supplies last, but this one was still there yesterday when I looked. So anyway, if you're interested in that, that is out there. And the Splendid Thoughts stamp set, which will be uh, the bundle and the designer series paper, specialty designer series paper and everything will be featured in my August part class. So I think that is it for today, unless we have any other questions or anything. Nope, looks good. Alrighty. Oh, Less than half an hour, I'm getting better. Well, some days I'm getting better. Oh, Barb's, uh, or Bev's, Bev's holding up. Oh my gosh, she was crafting. So <laughs> here, we'll put you, we'll put you into the spotlight, Bev. There we, whoops, there we go. Oh, look at your card. Oh, nice work. <laughs> so it did the whole flower, uh, flower pot, flower, whatever. <laughs> the kind of sort of went along with the theme of the moment. <laughs> so good. Coffee with a splash of inspiration. There's a little uh, inspiration for you. So thank you all so much for joining me today. Have an awesome day. And uh, I look forward to crafting with you again really soon. Bye for now.